Hello, everybody, and welcome to KTJ Primary's online assembly on Friday, the 26th of June, 2020. It is our sustainability day uh, today. And children, you will be looking at the sustainable development goals uh, with different activities from your teachers, looking at the different goals. 17 goals uh, which are designed uh, to plan for a better world, making it more equal, fairer, uh, and so that we are all looking after our world better, recognizing that by reducing inequalities, uh, we can help create a fairer world uh, and a more sustainable world, um, which is looking after our environment as well. So let's find out a bit more about it. Now, I really liked uh, Andrew Jeffrey's um, videos last week in the maths, uh, maths day. I hope you really had a, a great maths day. So many different activities uh, to get involved in. But did you see how he uh, he did it with the uh, with the uh, pen and the pencil and the chalk and the board and it looked like it was drawing. Uh, so I thought I'd have a go. So I've got my own chalkboard here. So let me have a go at introducing uh, the day for you uh, that uh, Miss Page has organised so well for you that your teachers have all uh, done a great job contributing to and that we want you to get uh, loads out of. And I'm going to tell you a bit more about it uh, by drawing on my board just here. KTJ Primaries Sustainability Day. Learn about the 17 Sustainable Development Goals SDGs. 17 SDGs are the blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. Answer the big question. What do you want to Sustainability Superhero Help to look after our world Katie J Cares So it's important we understand about the Sustainable Development Goals in order to help plan uh, properly for a more sustainable uh, future. Uh, so let's find out a bit more about those goals uh, just now. Let's have a, a look at a short video that shows you each of the goals one by one. Uh, so sustainability is all about keeping things going. It's about keeping things going fairly in our world and about making sure uh, that everybody has access to the things they need uh, to have uh, a good and fair life um, and are therefore are able to help look after our environment um, as well. Now, your teachers have been putting together some fantastic activities for you, and each one of those activities is looking at a different one of those sustainable development uh, goals, making sure 
that we're developing sustainably, that we can uh, create a world that can keep on going uh, fairly into uh, the future. Now, um, you'll see on the sheet that has been put on your Google Classroom or on to your Seesaw uh, today, the different activities from the different teachers and they're the activities on the screen just now, which uh, are for early years and key stage one, each one of those linking to a different goal. So some great activities uh, to take part in. So have a go and then uh, share your work uh, with your teacher. We'd love to see uh, what you have been doing. Uh, so that's for key stage one and early years. And then for key stage two, we have all the activities here, which are on the sheet. Uh, and if you click on the blue hyperlink, that will take you to uh, the lesson so that you can find out more about that goal and get involved. Uh, so do have a really good go at those. Uh, Take part in two or three of them during the day, but there's lots more to get involved in if you want to uh, into the future there um, as well to find out as much as you can about those different SDGs, those sustainable uh, development goals, uh, which will help the world into the future. And it's all about planning for 2030 and thinking about what our world uh, will look like in uh, 2030. And the big question um, is, what do you want the world to look like in 2030? What should 2030 look like? Uh, and this page has put together a Padlet for you so you can record your ideas. So that's also linked on your sheet. Uh, and then you'll also find um, on that sheet at the top a video from Miss Page introducing the day. So do have a look at that, please, uh, before you start. That's a really useful introduction uh, to the goals and to what the day is all about. So have lots of fun with it. It's it's a really rewarding day. It's a very important day uh, for you to find out more uh, about how we can help our planet and everybody in it. Okay. Right, we have some more upcoming events um, as well. So uh, this Friday, as you know now, we have our Sustainability Day. Uh, next Friday, you have your Transition Day. So you'll be doing activities with your uh, teacher for next year and your teaching assistant. Uh, so we really hope you enjoy that. That will be on your Google Classroom uh, next Friday, uh, including um, a Zoom session um, as well. And in other events, we have our talent time, which I'll tell you a bit more about in a couple of seconds. Um, and then, uh, very excitingly, we have on the 9th of July at 9 a.m., the last assembly, uh, which is incorporating our Year 6 Leavers Assembly, which is on Webinar Jam. Uh, so this will be live at 9 a.m., and I will be... Um, sending out details to your parents uh, later today about how to register for that. But I know that our Year 6 uh, have been working extremely hard putting together some great material uh, for that assembly. So we'd love as many people as possible in the KTJ community uh, to register and to uh, watch that assembly. And then on the last Friday morning, uh, the 10th of July, uh, we have our Zoom parties. Okay, so that's in the morning on Friday, the 10th of July, before we break up um, after those parties for the holidays. Now, uh, we've got uh, some of the children at KTJ starting to return uh, into the school building just uh, now as well, because we've got our Form 4s and Form 6s who have started to come back uh, from Wednesday uh, this week and our early years are able to come back from next uh, Wednesday so we're really really looking forward uh, to seeing them we're missing everyone dearly and um, it'll be lovely to see children coming back into school so uh, that'll be starting with our early years because what the government are doing is they're staggering it so not everybody's coming at once we need to make sure uh, that everybody is kept really safe so we're putting lots of plans in place uh, for the early years coming back and I'm communicating with uh, parents uh, about that as well. So for everyone um, else, the online learning uh, continues. Uh, so do carry on doing a great job uh, that you're doing with that. And that uh, we're hoping to hear more uh, soon about when uh, other children can come back. But we're expecting uh, you back probably in September after the holidays. And I'm sure that uh, you'll be looking forward to that. And everyone will be really looking forward uh, to seeing you back in school when you do come back uh, as well. But uh, for now, we carry on with the online learning for most of you and you're doing a brilliant job. So keep it up. Uh, and it's time now uh, to think a bit more about talent time because I would really like more of you to get involved and so would Miss Kelly. Uh, so we've extended the deadline because we've got some great entries, but we'd like even more. So 
Now you've got until Monday. So have a go over the weekend, please. Uh, and then if you've um, done your video, send that to Miss Kelly. All the details are there on the three o'clock club. And then we will put the finalists on the three o'clock club on Tuesday next week. And then we'll put uh, a form so you can vote uh, for your favorite. And voting will then be from the Tuesday the 30th until Thursday, uh, the 2nd of July until next Thursday. And then we will show the winners in assembly next week. So I'll be showing those uh, winners in assembly next week. So looking forward to seeing uh, all of your great talents do have a go. You've got until Monday now, so put your uh, video together over the weekend. Uh, it needs to be up to three minutes long and then send that to Miss Kelly. Okay, good luck. Right, it's time for our Stars of the Week. Starting in nursery, showing great resilience, we have Rishan. Uh, this week I have been working really hard in completing all tasks given and I have lots of fun doing so. I can blend really well now and I know most of my sounds. I put a lot of effort into my craft activities and they turn out really great. I am a star. That is brilliant, Rishan. Keep it up. Fantastic work. And in reception, also, also showing great resilience, we have Veronica. Very well done, Veronica. I am star of the week this week because I am trying my best to do all of my online learning work, even if it is a little tricky. I have done very good practical work about heavier and lighter and longer and shorter in maths and shared it with my teacher. She is very proud of my work. That is brilliant, Veronica. Fantastic. Showing great resilience. Even if it's a bit tricky, you keep on going. Good girl. Keep it up. In year one, showing great communication. We have Mia. Well done, Mia. Over the last few weeks, we have been writing our own haikus. This week, I did an outstanding presentation of my haiku and showed some amazing speaking skills. I spoke clearly with lots of expression and even made up my own actions. I am a star. That's brilliant, Mia. Keep it up. And in year two, showing great inquiry. Well done to Hishan. This week, I have demonstrated the personal goal of inquiry during IPC lessons by showing good understanding of how to research a topic and write an information text. My text was well written, interesting, and gave the reader many facts about the Olympic sport of beach volleyball. I am a star. And I had a look at your work, Hishan. Miss Nora sent um, me a copy, and I've got it just here. And you did an absolutely amazing uh, piece of work. This is superb writing, really informative uh, about beach uh, volleyball. Uh, we can see some great uh, sentences in there, really good punctuation, very good uh, use of uh, vocabulary. I think you should be really proud of your work and your great writing there. Uh, good boy. And in year two, showing great thoughtfulness, really well done to Jiho. Uh, I have been consistently working hard on my online learning. I thought about what I was required to do, uh, to do to successfully complete the task. I am a star. That is brilliant. Thoughtful learning, Jiho. Carefully thinking about what you need to do and then getting on with it. Keep it up. In year three, showing great resilience, we have Yi Yong. This week, I have shown a personal goal of resilience. I always try my best to complete the online learning tasks despite finding some tasks challenging. I never give up and always show great resilience. I am a star. That's what we're hearing today, isn't it? Even if it's a bit challenging, um, that's when you're learning, isn't it? That's when the best learning occurs. If you keep on going uh, and then you'll get there. Uh, so well done and keep it up. Brilliant work. In year three, also showing great resilience and great adaptability. Uh, we have Jaron and Arga and their families um, as well, because this week, year three, have been studying play scripts. And when in school, we usually do lots of reading and acting in this unit. This is a lot more difficult when learning at home. But Anarkia and Jaron not only read their scripts, but also made sound recordings of members of their family taking on different roles. They are definitely all stars. That is absolutely brilliant. Um, and many thanks uh, 
to the families there and to um, all of our families for your great uh, support during this time. Uh, you know, we really appreciate it. We couldn't do it without you and uh, you're doing a great job. So do keep it up. And that's fantastic uh, to hear. So well done, Jared and Naga and their families too. And in year four, showing great thoughtfulness and great resilience, we have Olan. Uh, this week, I've shown a personal goal of thoughtfulness and resilience towards my learning. We have been looking at different features that are included in ode poems. I have used my imagination and have been diligent with applying feedback to my next poem to show progress. I am a star. Really well done, uh, Olan. That's great work. And lots of speaking and listening going on in uh, the school this week, which is great when we're continuing to learn uh, online. And uh, Mr. Tender sent me your ode, o Olan, and it's brilliant. So I think we'll just show that uh, just now as well. Oh, Dad, incredible Dad. Without you, life would be bad. You're good at everything. You're not bad at anything. With you, I learned to talk and walk. With your amazingness, I can only go. Okay, so a fantastic uh, ode uh, to Olan's uh, dad just there. Really well done, Olan. Keep up the brilliant work. I'm sure your dad's uh, very proud of that one as well. And in year four, showing great resilience and communication, we have Sophia. Well done, Sophia. I am star of the week for showing a personal goal of resilience and communication. I have worked very hard through the mastering level of work this week, challenging myself and not giving up when I found the tasks difficult. I also was not afraid to ask questions to improve my level of understanding. I am a star. Brilliant. Keep it on going. Don't give it, not give it up. That's a theme, isn't it, this week? Um, mastering a challenge. Um, and that's where that great learning is occurring. So very, very well done, Sophia. Keep it up. Year five, showing great thoughtfulness. We have Haley. Throughout this distance learning time, I have consistently shown thoughtfulness in my learning. I am always looking to make connections with what I already know and what I am learning and how what I'm learning applies to the real world. These links have helped me to have a deeper understanding of some tricky concepts and I have shown that I am definitely ready to move up to year six. Hayley, that's brilliant. Uh, well done for that fantastic work, that thoughtful uh, learning uh, and as uh, Miss Michelle says there, you're ready to move up to year six. You've got your transition uh, next week, and I'm sure you'll go forward with great confidence, uh, as you all should. So well done, Haley. And in year five, also showing great thoughtfulness, some really good thoughtful learning going on this week, we have uh, Cayenne. Well done to uh, Kayan, who has shown the personal goal of thoughtfulness. This week, Kayan has shown a real thoughtfulness in all areas of her learning. She has worked hard to complete tasks and has produced work of an excellent standard. In particular, Kayan has worked well in her literacy, producing some fantastic writing and really focusing on her descriptions and attention to detail. Well done, Kayan. And that is um, absolutely brilliant. More thoughtful learning, really working hard, excellent standard of work uh, while you work online and keeping that um, high standard of work going is um, really impressive. So keep it up and very, very well done. In year six, showing great communication, we have Albert. Well done, Albert. This week, I've demonstrated the personal goal of communication. I was able to communicate clearly my enjoyment, making the videos for the Leavers Assembly. I also expressed myself well when writing my contributions for the Leavers book. I am a star. Absolutely brilliant. Really looking forward to your uh, Leavers Assembly uh, coming up uh, shortly. And as I said before, uh, details of how to register for that one uh, should be coming to your parents uh, later today. So well done, Albert. I'm glad you're enjoying it and uh, making some great contributions there. And also in year six, also showing great communication, it's Najwa. Um, this week, I made a hilarious video for the Year 6 Leavers Assembly. In it, I start with my siblings communicating the struggles of working from home during distance learning. Well, that sounds uh, brilliant, Hajwa. I'm really looking forward uh, to seeing uh, that one. I think it's going to be a great assembly, isn't it? It looks like it could be lots um, of fun as well. So well done. Uh, well done to all of you for your video there. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing that one when it gets to the Leavers Assembly. Okay, so... Um, not last week, because we had the fantastic uh, maths day last week, but the week before we had our virtual um, sports day. And Miss Toria has put together a lovely video of uh, some of the videos that you uh, sent in 
uh, to Mr. Dan uh, showing what was going on during the day. And I thought it'd be really nice to show that in assembly because it really captures uh, some of the great activities you were doing. So we'll watch that uh, just now. What a brilliant day our virtual sports day uh, was. Let's look at some more fantastic work that's been going on. So some brilliant work in early years here on the children's favourite place on earth. And look at the fantastic uh, drawings and writing uh, we have here. So really well done uh, to our early years. Some super, super work um, going on. And in year five, uh, look at this one, Bake It. Um, some great work uh, going on uh, to do with the science behind baking, looking at yeast and how carbon dioxide is released and then an experiment here uh, with the balloon uh, blowing up and some uh, brilliant photos uh, there of Grace at the top and um, I know that's Toby's uh, balloons at the bottom uh, just there. Uh, we had a great time with that um, experiment, a really a really good one. So uh, well done to our year fives, keeping on practical science uh, while you're learning online. Absolutely uh, brilliant. And we'd also really like you all to keep up with your music as well. And Mr. Dan Lapierre um, has got a great plan, uh, which we'd like as many people as possible uh, to get involved in. So I'm going to hand over uh, to Mr. Dan uh, to tell you a bit more about it. Hello, musicians. Long time no see. I'm really sad we can't do our awesome end of year concert in the auditorium. So I thought, why don't we do an awesome concert online? So following my little talk, I'm going to be playing a song, which I know you all know. And then what I need from you guys is to record yourself playing along to me, basically. So you can pick your favorite instrument. Um, if you want to do drums or piano or guitar, even a pot and pan, if you want to play along and you don't have any instrument at home. So yes, I am going to be sending out uh, a video to all your class teachers in which you need to play your instrument along with me. Um, I will also be uploading all the music and all the notes, all the notation and sheet music that you need, as well as really slow kind of practice videos uh, for drums, piano, uh, and guitar uh, for you to practice along with. But I need your video by next Friday. And then when I get all your awesome videos of you guys playing along, I'm going to edit it all together. So it would be like we're on stage together. So it can be anyone in primary. It doesn't matter what year you are or what skill level. Um, it is an easy song and I know you guys are all awesome. So I really look forward to seeing all your submissions. So please, please get them by next Friday. You have one week and I know you guys are super capable to do it. So I miss all of you and I hope to uh, see your videos soon.
Thanks, Mr. Dan. Um, looks absolutely brilliant. Such a good idea. And we'd love as many as possible of you to get involved. So Mr. Dan will put that on to the year four, five and six Google Classrooms uh, because they're the classes he normally works with. But I will also put it on to the three o'clock club as well uh, so that you can see it there and that uh, everyone can get involved. Now, it might be, as Mr. Dan said, that you're able to play the guitar or the piano or the drums along to the track. Uh, but if you want to bang a saucepan or shake uh, a rattle, uh, that's brilliant as well. We'd just love you to get involved. So do that. Make sure you then send your video uh, to Mr. Dan Lapierre. And I'm going to put the um, email address you need to send it to on the screen uh, for you just now. Okay, so there's the email address. I'll also make sure that's on the three o'clock club uh, for you as well. So you can see it there. Uh, so do get involved. You need to send your videos by next uh, Friday, uh, though. So uh, please make sure you get on that straight away. We can't hang around. Uh, and then that's going to be put together or edited together to make a fantastic band uh, of the children who've contributed. So uh, we'd love to see you get involved. Okay, it's time now, please, uh, to stand uh, so we can sing the national anthem. Okay, so I hope that everybody gets lots and lots out of our sustainability uh, day today. Do get um, involved and don't forget to check in with the three o'clock uh, club for our sustainability superhero uh, later on today as well. And then have a lovely weekend, um, everybody. Take care.